Hello viewers and potential subscribers, you are watching Unknown Emerald and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get the surface drops efficiently. I've seen quite a lot of people try to make videos on them but everyone does it on unofficial servers which is a little bit inaccurate because the servers are a little bit boosted and they have much better loot and there's much less things chasing you. So in this video I'm unofficial so I'm gonna show you how to get drops on the servers on official servers so let's get to it. To go to the surface all you will need is a hazmat suit, a crossbow of some zipline anchors and a ravager. I highly recommend pumping some speed on your ravager as you'll be trying to outrun the surface repickings quite a lot, plus you'll be able to get from one drop to the other much quicker. Once you're ready, what you want to do is make your way to the top left hand section of the map. There's a surface entrance over there and I believe that is one of the easiest ones out of all three of them. Once you're there, put your hazmat suit. Go through the spores and follow through the cave. Once you're there, you might have surface creeper king spawning at the bottom, but do not worry, just follow my lead. All you want to do is hug the right, jump on top of the rocks. The surface kings will not be able to get up to you. They'll be trying to use the range attack, but that doesn't do any damage. All it does is slows you down. I already have a zipline anchor over there, so I'm just going to jump on that. But if you do not have one there yet, of course, you just have to fire one, and that's all you need to do. And then just slowly make your way up there. As you can see, I fired my zipline anchor. It's a little bit below the platform that you want to jump on. Basically, that prevents it from being destroyed when it becomes daytime. But if you overshoot it and it's a little bit higher, do not worry. All you will need is just have another zipline anchor the next time you're here. But once you're up, I can see a blue drop in the distance. I'm going to go for that very quickly. Reaper Kings will be spawning after you. And one thing you can do if you cannot steal at random, if your ravage is a little bit slow, what you can do is keep on jumping. And after they hit you, you'll be able to be pushed forward a little bit. So the momentum will carry you forward and you'll be able to out random a little bit easier. So just always try to jump as much as you can. Also, use the sides as cover. You can jump into the sides of the rocks and then the Reaper Kings will be stuck and they will not be able to go after you. But I have grabbed the blue drops and there is also a purple one which I'm gonna go after. I'm quickly gonna grab them and after that I'm gonna show you where I go to be safe on that surface entrance. So I've just grabbed a purple drop. On my right, there's a surface entrance which I came from. I'm going to go to the left-hand side and I'm going to go up the slope. What you'll see are those pillar rocks, the rocks that kind of extend forward a little bit. And what you want to do is basically make your way up to them. All you need to do is just follow my lead. The Reaper Kings will also be chasing you still, but once you're up on those rocks, you will not be chased anymore. They'll get stuck at the bottom and they will not be able to ramp their way up to you. Also, do not carry a Bob Dog with you because the Seekers will be coming after you. They'll be nameless otherwise if there's no Bob Dog, but the nameless are much less of a threat than the Seekers. The Seekers of course can fly and they can get up to you much easier but if you have Nameless chasing you then you can just get them to fall off the edge and that's all you need to do. Just get them off the edge and then you'll be safe and of course the Reaper Kings will still be trying to use the range attack on you but once again do not worry as that doesn't do any damage. All it does is slow you down and if they seem to not be able to hit you they'll just borrow underground and leave you alone. The very first time you're doing this, you'll probably be panicking quite a bit. Do not worry, I was panicking myself quite a lot. You'll get hang of it once you do it a few times yourself. And once you're at the top, the good thing about seeing at the top of this rock, you'll be able to see every single drop in the area and you'll be able to tell when they hit the ground. Do not go after them until they have hit the ground. Otherwise, once you get there, they'll be nameless chasing you and the Reaper King will be spawning by the drop. Wait for it to hit the ground and then go after it. Once you get the very first drop, you then make your way to the next one of course, and you repeat the process. There has never been a case when there have been more than two drops present at a time. If there's only one, once you pick that one drop, two should spawn in its place right after you pick it up. And then you repeat the process, come back to the top, wait for them to come down again, and go again. One last tip that I will give you is to constantly check the time. The surface becomes safe at 6pm to 6am and that's the time you want to stay there. After 6am the ground becomes lava, basically you pretty much die straight away up there, your gig is broken and you just burn up, so you have to be out there before 6am. Also keep on checking the percentages of the day and night cycle. It's best to go there when it's 10% day and 90% night. 50-50 is okay, but don't go there when it's 90% daytime and 10% night because the ground becomes lava way too quickly. You do not have enough time to go up there, grab the drops and get out, unless you're very very fast, which in my case I'm not that fast, it becomes much more dangerous so I highly recommend not doing that when it's 90% day and 10% night. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, if it became useful make sure to give the video a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time, so see you.